A big shout out to our sponsor, Iowa Floor Covering and their Tough Core Click Together Flooring. We've been touting that for a long, long time, but they'll get you covered for whatever project you have going on in your house. Maybe it's a carpet or tile or tile shower project. Give them a call, 515-379-7000. That's 379-7000 or visit iowafloorcovering.com. Thank you to Iowa Floor Covering down in Bondurant. What would your opening comments be regarding this matchup, especially given the fact that you don't know if you're going to get Molly Davis back. Your team really struggled to put the ball in the basket this evening. You're not going to get the same home crowd. How does Lisa Bluter address this team this week? I mean, I think you give the team grace because this was really senior night. And everybody knows it's very emotional for senior night. So give your team a little grace and you focus on the positives with that being the fact that y'all had seven assists, which is nowhere near what you normally have. And you stuck that out. That's what it's going to take to win close games at the end of the day. However, now we're going to look forward. (laughs) And what we're going to do is this is not going to be as physical. However, you're dealing with a more talented team. So now we've got to get back to Iowa basketball and that is sharing the basketball running the floor, and hitting our open shots. Camilla says, who's guarding Frida Foreman? This 2-3 zone is not going to work. Well, we've played zone before with shooters. You just got to move. And you have to – you said what? I was just going to say, she's a very good outside shooter, if people don't know Frida Foreman. She she lit LSU up at the beginning of the year. So absolutely, that's the redhead. Um, but yeah, I think that you, you can play a zone with shooters. It's just the simple fact that you have to be anticipatory. You have to anticipate the next pass. You have to be on your toes so you're there on the catch. So it just you, you have to change your mindset just a little bit. The show, but you know, Jalen Sherrod and Quay Miller and I mean Vonley, they've got size, they've got athleticism, they've got. Um, physicality, which gives Iowa problems, but Do you're going to face Gabby that to be a point. factor. Say it again. Do not expect Gabby to be an offensive factor in that game. Well, she wasn't an offense. That's why she wasn't an offensive Kelly. factor tonight. Not going to happen. Not when she chases Sherrod all over the court. It's not going to happen. And didn't She's we kind of know? Because she, I, I didn't text you about this at the beginning of the game, but didn't you kind of know? Like I kind of felt like early it was like, okay, it's obvious. Gabby's not going to be scoring points tonight. Like maybe she gets a couple of threes, but, and that's just, it, it is a reality of it. Like we've talked about this before, as it relates to mm-hmm. offense, if Gabby's not wide open from three, she really doesn't offer anything on offense. Well, so, you know, one thing I've noticed about Gabby um, in her games, and I've kind of looked at it because everybody, she's been a topic of discussion is that whenever Gabby has a tough defensive assignment, she's not, she's not effective offensively. Um, majority of the time. There are some times she can pick it up or she can provide us with something here or there, but a lot of the times it's very hard because you're chasing their best player around the court. Like, you're going to get tired. And then we're expecting you to knock down open threes. I'm, I'm not giving her excuses by any means. However, it's just something I've noticed, which is why I said that it's going to be tough for her to chase probably the fastest player that they have experienced this year yep. and expect her to knock down open threes. I'm going to pray, however, that she could at least provide us with one or two. But I'm also aware of the energy that she is going to have to put out there to keep her at bay. Is it fair to say that they're going to be playing a lot of zone against Colorado? Um, Colorado can shoot it though. I, <laughs> they've got the redhead girl who can shoot it. They've got, I think her name is Waylon or her last name is Waylon or Waylene or something like that. She's a transfer. She can shoot it. Sherrod, she's not, I mean, she's hit or miss, but she can, she's capable if she gets hot. So possibly I think they're going to have to mix it up a little bit. I don't think they could just sit in zone the whole time. No, <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. But I do think they're going to have to mix it up a little bit. Because, um, like I said, we don't, we, I don't think we got anybody to guard Sherrod. We guard the rest of them. 
But well, that's the only reason. I, that's part of the reason why I said I think you're going to be seeing a lot of zone. Now they can yeah. shoot you out of the zone. West Virginia almost shot Iowa out of the zone a couple times tonight, and that's not a, a, a team that you expect to be a real great three point shooting team. But like, if Gabby's going to be guarding Sherrod and Gabby and yeah. Gabby in the man to man, that's not a favorable matchup for Iowa. I mean, she's going to be a pest, especially when Sherrod doesn't have the ball in her hands. Right. But I am nervous about that matchup once Sherrod gets isolation to work on Gabby Marshall. That's what I would say. Now, I yeah. want to comment on that. <laughs> No, I mean, I agree. I don't I don't think that's her, her favorable matchup. Out. So we I, move our attention now to Iowa, Colorado. Any final thoughts, uh, Kashin, heading into that game? Um, these are familiar people. They they played each other a year ago, and n- no doubt there's going to be a big. Um, we didn't talk about the crowd at Carver, but I'm guessing a lot of Hawkeye fans are booking their their seats out in Albany. Hold on to your seats, because it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> and the winner of that game will play the winner of UCLA LSU in the late day. So uh, I wonder what time their game is. Well, that will be well, that will be Monday, right? So, it's, it, what do you mean? What time it'll be? It'll be the same. Will time. they be for us or after us? Oh, well, you mean on on uh, Saturday? Yes. Um, yeah. That game would be before. If I was at two thirty, then uh, that's two. Let's see, three thirty Eastern time. Um, the LSU UCLA game would be at what would that be? Noon, noon Central time, one Eastern time. So okay. there's your yeah, schedule for Saturday, and then the the primetime games will be the other um, the other games out west. And of course, the other Sweet 16 games will transpire on Friday. And then if the Hawks get by yeah. there, they'll play Monday. So that's the schedule, folks.